Let's say we're asked to solve 25x squared equals 30x plus 11 using the quadratic formula. The first thing we need to remember whenever using the quadratic formula is that one side of the equation must be zero. We can achieve this by subtracting the 30x and the 11 over to the left-hand side, and that allows us to make the right-hand side of the equation equal to zero. We could have also subtracted the 25x squared over to the right-hand side, but that would have made my x squared term negative. Nothing wrong with that, I just prefer to keep my x squared terms positive. Either way would give you the same answer. Since all the terms are on one side with a zero on the other side, we can start identifying our coefficients. a is 25, b is negative 30, the constant by itself c is negative 11. Now all we have to do is replace the letters in the quadratic formula with their respective values. Notice that we have negative b here, but b itself is negative. Negative times a negative will make a positive. So that's why we have a positive 30 plus or minus the square root of b, which is negative 30 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 25, times c, which is negative 11, all over 2 times a, which again is 25. Now cleaning up the inside of the radical, negative 30 times negative 30 will give us a positive 900. 4 times 25 is 100, and 100 times 11 is 1100. But notice we have a negative times a negative, so that's what makes it a positive. For the denominator, we have 2 times 25, which gives us 50. We can simplify the inside of the radical, 900 plus 1100, to get 2000 inside the radical. At this stage, we need to simplify the radical before we can move ahead. We notice that 2,000 can be rewritten as the perfect square of 400 times 5. 400 times 5 is 2,000, and we know what the square root of 400 is. It's just 20. So this problem really then just becomes 30 plus or minus the square root of 400 is 20 times the square root of 5, which is just that. There's nothing we can do to simplify that further. All over 50. Now we notice that 30 and 20 have a GCF of 10, and that in fact can simplify or cancel out the 50 as well. So let's do that. Let's factor out a 10 from the 30 and the 20, leaving behind 3 plus 2 radical 5. But 10 goes into 50 five times. So this really gives us two solutions, 3 plus 2 radical 5 over 5, and the second one would be 3 minus 2 radical 5 over 5. Those are the two solutions to our original equation, 25x squared equals 30x plus 11.